Hare Krishna. Done words. Can everybody hear me well? Yeah, Hare Krishna. Happy to see familiar faces. Thank you so much. Thank you to Adi Gadadhar Prabhu and family for hosting and having this Sangha. Just begin with a small Mangla Charan. Oma Jnana Timiran Dhasya Jnana Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashatya Deshatarine Vancha Kalpatarubhyas Chakripasindubhya Evacha Patitanam Pavane Pyo Vaishnava Pyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Jai Shri Radhe Oh happy to see Advait here Hare Paul <coughs> We thought of <coughs> topic called searching searching Gaur in Vrindavan <laughs> Now before we search him in Vrindavan let's search him in CBSC books <laughs> Some of many of us have studied through CBSC or ICSC, I don't know. But there they describe bhakti movement. Perhaps, I don't know, 10th grade or 6th grade, 7th grade. And they show Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this beautiful dancing form, isn't it? However, some of the theologians just describe Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as a religious epileptic. Now, some of you are doctors, you know what is epilepsy. But for them, Mahaprabhu is just a religious epileptic personality. He is something more. First thing is that he created a revolution of Harinam. And if Harinam is not there, no process can get their fulfillment. In fact, even impersonal realization. Impersonalists talk about Brahm Aikya Bodha. The equivalence, a person realizes that he is actually Aikya with Brahma. But that's not, that cannot be affected if the holy name is not chanted. The person will realize he is Atma, but the Aikya both will not happen. So even great personalities in India, like there was a personality in the north called Karpatri Swami. Hari Haranan Saraswati. Karpatri means Kar, hand is a Patra. So he will only eat that much. Now yesterday we were eating nachos. I was thinking if I was Karpatri, maybe only few nachos will come there. <laughs> but such is the personality. He also would recommend the name of Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. So Mahaprabhu did that revolution. And therefore people had to say that Kathanchana Smrite Yasmin Tushkaram, Sukaram, Bhavet. By remembering Mahaprabhu, the hard things become yeah. easy. Vispritam, Vipri, Tesyat, Shri Chaitanya, Namamitam. By forgetting him, by forgetting the name, nothing will happen. Yoga, not, not possible. Dhyan, fulfillment of Dhyan, not possible. And what we can say about Bhakti. Sometimes he also tell Mahaprabhu is like the most merciful teacher who comes back to the back benchers. We were talking that in, I think, North Carolina too, that imagine you are a monitor in the class. Imagine, Matli, you become the monitor and you go to the back benchers and they are making all the graffiti on the... 
it happens in india you know some of the students were so innovative that they will bring crackers fire crackers to the school <laughs> and often put it underneath the <laughs> some of the chairs one fine day we were sitting and there was a big bomb blast in the restroom of the toilet in the restroom of the school such are the students in the back benching back benches isn't it they are making graffiti eating samosas just imagine a teacher so merciful he comes to the back benches and tells draw some few more graffiti eat some gulab jamuns and pani puri let me do your homework <laughs> Shail, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is like that. Mm. But he is even more than a very merciful incarnation who came and give, gave the name. He is Radha Krishna Nahi Anya. Hmm? Radha Bhava Dviti Suvalitam Naomi Krishna Swarupam And as Jiva Goswami says, Antar Krishnam Bahir Gauram Andar se Krishna Bahar se Gaur from inside he is Krishna, from outside he is Gaur, Radha Varna, Darshidangadi Vaibhavam. His Vaibhav is his Darshan. How was he preaching? Agale Lagja. He would embrace. He would embrace and people would get Bhakti. Very amazing preaching. And Kalau Sankirtana Adhyaisma Shri Krishna Chaitanya Shritah. So such is Mahaprabhu who is non-different than Radha Krishna. And therefore, repeatedly in our tradition it is said, you enter deep into God Lila, you'll come out of the tunnel in Krishna You enter deep in the Krishna Lila, you'll come out in Gaurila. And there's a verse for that too. Yatha yatha gaur padar vinde vindeta bhaktim krita punya rashi. Some punya rashi, somebody who has a lot of punya. Which punya? The paap punya or the tarpan kriya mudra? No, this punya is a special punya. It is called bhaktion mukha punya or bhaktion muk sukriti. Sukriti we keep getting. Much, much, somebody was saying, glorifying the dogs in America. Aho Bhagyam, what, what <laughs> punya did you do to find yourself in a home where you are groomed nicely, where you are fed nicely, isn't it? And I think COVID time saw a great boon. However, this punya is different. This punya is Bhaktion Mukpunya or Bhaktion Muksukriti, which kind of wants, directs one to this Bhakti. Whatever we do in the past, it becomes in the future. Whatever our tendencies there in the mind, actually, it's just a matter of time. Those tendencies get expressed. Suppose we are angry. They say we are non different than tiger. Well, externally we may look very nice, but internally as good as tiger. Face is the index of mind, and mind will take one to a new face, isn't it? It's just a matter of time. So, here is Mahaprabhu who is Radha Krishna Nahi Anya, and person who has done Punya Rashi. Now this is again significant. Rashi means quite a lot. Rashi. Vindeta Bhaktim. Vindeta Prapt. He gets Bhaktim to Gaur Padara Vinde. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How? Yatha Yatha. Jaise Jaise. This Yatha Yatha Tatha Tatha is a very common thing used in scriptures. To the extent, to that extent. Isn't it? To the extent we gouge on prasad till here, which is good sometimes for our nourishment, but to that extent, next morning will we see the rewards. <laughs> <laughs> so, yatha yatha, tatha tatha, 
तथा तथोत्सर्पत हृदय कस्माद अकस्माद ऑटोमैटिकली सडनली इन दी हार्ट उत्सर्पति उत्सर्पति मीन्स सर्पति मीन्स सर्प स्नेक सर्पति इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ द स्नेक उत्सर्पति इट राइजेज अब वॉट राधा पदाबुज सुधाम शुराशि दी सो स्टार्ट पर्सन स्टार्ट विद गौर गौर एंड एंड अब डूइंग राधे राधे Isn't it? Opposite is also true. You start doing radhe radhe, and especially in our movement, mm -hmm. where the seed which is given by Sri La Prabhupad, the person will try to embrace the compassion of Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. One can stop anything, sit in a room, chant and chant and chant. After a while, he'll feel I have to go out. the preaching is always an overflow and it will overflow because our seed is like that mm -hmm. for some other sampraday the seed may be different what to do we have gotten that seed apples won't come oranges will come or avocados will come ha <laughs> <laughs> huh? it's a big seed our our seed is bhajan plus seva combined together or as i think it was indra prabhu who would say bhajan couched in seva और सेवा काउच्ड इन भजन इट्स अ डुअल थिंग इट्स लाइक द ओरियो बिस्किट राइट अंदर गौरा और बड़ा पाव नो इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ बड़ा विदाउट अ पाव एंड नो इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ पाव विदाउट अ बड़ा सो दिस चैतन्य महाप्रभु One worships enters into Radha Krishna Lila. One enters deep into Radha Krishna, comes out in Gaur Lila, and this is theologically true also. What do I mean by that? We were speaking in several places that how we are so fortunate that our ultimate emancipation means ultimate liberation, which is called Vastu Siddhi, is in the form of two identities. We get one bonus. One is in Golok, another is in Navadvip. Navadvip Dham is called Shweta Dvip Dham. So just imagine this nice room is there. At the corner of the room, there is a small bag or portali. This portali has many, 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 many mustard seeds. That portali of mustard seeds compares to the entire cosmos of material world together. and this entire room which is quite huge in comparison is the spiritual planet yeah. the border of that portali of mustard seeds and this room is the viraja river so people cross 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 come and whom they find lord shiva sada shiv dham and this sada shiv dham is not a normal dham there also yad gatvana nivartante tad dham paramam mama lord shiva has many identities his first identity is what scholars call bhattarak swarup mm -hmm. which is what they say shivoham shivoham but what do we say dasoham dasoham <laughs> then somebody say wait sadasoham sadasoham <laughs> then we say wait das dasoham sealed now you cannot put anything else because it will be repetition another form is rudra who does the destruction destruction another form is Mahadev, Shiva, and Parvati, who are the call this the primordial creative principle, and Sada Shiva is spiritual. It has some sort of a little bheda bhed with Vishnu also. But you go to Sada Shiva Dham, and Lord Shiva sees, and he has an inclination to go to Gopal. So he directs people to Gopal, or as we have a joke in Chopati. people come to babul nath <laughs> and then enter into gopi yeah. nath <laughs> then somebody even cracked another joke he said between babul nath and shambhu nath there is gopi nath and i was thinking who is shambhu nath so shambhu nath pan wala <laughs> <laughs> so lord shiva does it but there is a fifth form of lord shiva which other people may not know but we know it very well mm -hmm. who is he gopeshwar mahadev in fact brajvas one of the passwords 
is with Gopeshwar Mahadev. So Lord Shiva, Dham is there. You move up and we enter into different, different planetaries. Planets, right? What are the different planets? Kurma, Nrsinga, Vamana and Pradyumna. A different, whatever, 24 millions of forms, isn't it? Sometimes when mathematicians dis describe, you know, the forms of Vishnu, they say four factorial, four, three, two, one, isn't it? The various arrangements of the chak, four, four things. And, and when you go up, further up, now what does this up mean? It is true in geographical sense, but it is also true in consciousness sense. The more you go deeper, where the Aishwarya is reducing and the sweetness is increasing. There you enter into the Dham of Dwarka. Mm -hmm. Then first Ayodhya, then Dwarka, then Jagannath Puri, then Mathura. And then the outermost is Shvetadweep. And Shvetadweep you enter, you come to Golok Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. So Shvetadweep we are singing Hari Haraye Nama. Krishna Yadavaya Nama, Yadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama. And out we come on the other side and singing. Jai Radhe, Jai Radhe, Radhe, Jai Radhe, Jai, Shri Radhe. On the one side we are singing. Kishori Tere Charanan Ki Rajpao. On the other side we are, we'll come out saying that. Jeeva Jago, Jeeva Jago. Gaura Chandra Bole. These are the two identities. And 5,000 years ago, Golok Vrindavan descends as Bhom Vrindavan, mm -hmm. Prakat Vrindavan. And the Shvetadweep descends as the Prakat Navadweep Dham 500 years ago. So not only there is that one starts worshipping Gaurang Mahaprabhu and he says Radhe Radhe, but it's also theological. It's also how our... Um, Ultimate liberation is. And that's what we see in Gaur Leela. Who was Subal? Gauri Das Pandey. So Subal is there having pastimes with uh, Krishna. And in Mahaprabhu Leela, he comes as Gauri Das Pandey having pastimes with his deities of Gaur and Nityananda. Ambika Kalna. Rupa Goswami as Rupa Manjari and Rupa Goswami. So two identities. Ek ke saath ek free. <laughs> So, such is the munificence, magnificence and reality of worshipping Gorang Mahaprabhu. That he is non-different than Radha Krishna. So, the question comes, which is the topic of today? Where is Gaur in Krishna Leela? Mm -hmm. Where he is Radha Krishna Nahi Anya? He hides a lot. Mm -hmm. Mahaprabhu apne aap ko chupate hain. Aam log chapate hain. <laughs> <laughs> Mahaprabhu hides himself. But sometimes he reveals himself. You know when he revealed himself? Many places. Ah, Mahaprakash Leela. And he revealed to Tavehashi Tare Prabhu Dekhaila Swarup to Ramanandra. Rasaraj Mahabhav Dui Ekarup. Who is Rasaraj? Yesterday we were talking about, right? Vako Hridaya Hai Thako. He is interacts with everybody. He is Rasraj. There was um, one poet who sang about how we are stuck up in the material world. He said, Moku to bhar ek, tohe suhai hajar. Thakur ji, you can take care of 16,108. Merko to, for me, only one is a big problem. <laughs> so, Krishna is Rasraj. And Mahabhav Swarupa is Radharani. He has come together. But then, Dekhi Ramananda hoela anande murchite dharite na pare deha padile bhumite Krishna is separating in front and then combining together. Radha Krishna nahi anya. So, looks like there is a problem. He keeps hiding himself, saying, Vishnu, 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 I am not Lord. How to find him? But we will find him today and on Friday. <laughs> First 5,000 years ago. And this is the place where daily Radharani is being called. What's that place? Nandagram. 
right now it is 7 21 am mm -hmm. around 8 3 36 to 6 o'clock then 6 o'clock to 8 24 these are the different times of eightfold pastimes from 3 teen chattis mm -hmm. their mangla becomes quite early <laughs> begins quite early <laughs> 3.36 to 6, the gopis are waking up Radha Krishna and then they figure out, oops, we have left our beds there. So they separate. So that's why the Mangala Arti is in bittersweet mood. Mm -hmm. In Mangala, in one sense, first is that first darshan of Radha and Krishna together and Lalita is offering the Arati. The Arati is prepared, plate is prepared by Rupa Manjari. Yeah. And then all the other ingredients are by other, other acharyas and finally we are standing behind. <laughs> so that's the mood of Mangala Arati that our Guru Manjari and then Rupa Manjari and then Lalita is offering the Arati. Mm -hmm. But there is sweetness and bitterness. What's the bitterness? They're now going to run. Mm -hmm. Actually, they forget about it. And Krishna is, anyway, Bako Hirdeya Thako, he's joking there. <laughs> Lalita is asking, hey, there is some problem with this, um, the chariot of the sun god. Mm -hmm. He keeps separating lovers. Radharani says, Are now he is little handicapped. Imagine he was not. How much fast he would be driving the chariot. Now we are getting a moment. Otherwise you would get one hundredth of that moment. So this thing is happening and Vrinda Devi thinks, again lost. What to do about these people? They don't manage their time well. So she creates or calls Kakhati Bandariya. Mm. There is this she monkey called Kakhati. And Kakhati is called. And Kakhati, she knows Sanskrit maybe, I don't know. She says, Jatila is coming. And now with that Jatila, the, the meaning is of the sun god. But then is a double meaning of Jatila. No Jatila is there. Mm. And they get scared. And then they run. And Rupa Manjari and Ras Rati Manjari, Raghunath Goswami and Rupa Goswami, they are kind of like the bodyguards of Radharani also, so that she is she's running. But Krishna is going alone. <laughs> because the Gopas have no entries into the Nikunj. So they come, sleep, <laughs> Krishna sleeps and Radharani sleeps. And around this time, this is 6 till 6. And then in this 6 to 8.24, when Radharani is waking up, a Sakhi called Sri Kundalata comes there to Barsana and she invites to come to Nandagram for cooking. Now Radharani, different editions say different thing. Amrinder Prabhu was saying 11 months and one month. Some other traditions say about almost half half in different seasons. Like in Akshatritya to Rathayatra. She stays in Yavat or Barsana, then she comes. Different, different traditions have different things. But the point is there. Radharani switches between Maika and Pihar. Mm -hmm. That's what they call Maika and Pihar. So she's coming to Nandagram. So like like Same thing. Mm -hmm. See, we don't have that software installed. So Maika and Sasural. So they, they come to um, Nandagram, and after the cooking is done, one fine day Yashoda says, Radharani. I think you should get married now. What? I have a the best match for you. Who is the best match? Her son. <laughs> and Radha is saying, what's happening? What will happen to my independence? Right now we were just going here and there and playing and now I have to get married? No, no, no. Yasha said, nothing doing. This is the age. Now you should enter the new phase of life. So before Radha could say anything, she took the turmeric colored paste and rubbed it in the hands of Radha Rani. Hari bol. In Hindi we call it pile kar diye. <laughs> and Radha Rani is very komal, very bholi. She has the sense of man also, but she does man only to please Krishna. Otherwise, Kishori Ju is very komal. In fact, for Siya Mata, it was also said that mm -hmm. when she was getting, got married and coming, they had uh, put all the lo rose and lotus petals. And they were not the rose and lotus petals of Kali Yoga, right? Mm -hmm. Little bit scratchy. <laughs> very, very common. 
even because they were worried that she, her lotus feet is so soft it might get hurt. But then she found that as Siyaju, Sriju Maharani, as we call in Vrindavan, as Maithili, <laughs> is walking, she, she, she's a little fainting and it appears that she's having kashta. Why? Because people are watching her and just their observation is kumhala rahe hai wo. Yeah, Kaushal has said, this is too much. She grabbed Siya Mata, put her in her lap, covered her with her pallu and took her into the... <laughs> so, Kishori ji is very komal. And before she could decide, haat peele ho gaye, the hand has become yellow. And then Yashoda Ma says that, go and take permissions from <laughs> Vrishabhanu and Kirti. What do they think about this idea? Anyway, she is going and Lalita Vishakha, their antenna is up. We can't do this. We have to go to all the places with you. Your independence lost. Our independence will also be lost. And not with that chaliya. <laughs> hmm? There is a song in Braj, which, which is sung in the plays, Vrindavan Theatre. Hmm. When Madhu Mangar steals the, or rather he, he thinks that he has trumped the gopis. Hmm. He sings this song doing a donkey dance. <laughs> One hand behind like a tail and another hand in the front like his face. <laughs> Shyam bado chaliyo bachi rahiyo gori. Shyam bado chaliyo bachi rahiyo gori. Jab tohe shyam marg me roke. Jab shyam tohe marg me roke. Chakma de ke chali ayo gori. You should deceive him and come because Sham bado chali yo bachi rahi yo gori. Oh gori, Sham bada chali yo. So now the Lalita is also singing. Sham bado chali yo bachi rahi yo gori. So tell me the solution. This is a pond. Go and rub your hands. She starts rubbing. The yellow color starts coming out. But it's not the yellow of turmeric. Mm. An additional yellow is coming out. Because in the heart, she starts feeling, mm. maybe it's a good idea I should get married. Mm. Otherwise, it's like going here and there and all the time. I could be just with Krishna. <laughs> but now I'm rubbing the hands. All the stories ending. Lalita is singing, Sham vado chaliyo bachi rahe ho gori. So, viraha is developing in the heart. Mm -hmm. So, it's the viraha color which is coming out. Mm -hmm. So, it becomes a thick mustardy color. And this pond is called mm -hmm. Pili Pokhar. Okay? What do we do after we shed the surag of crime? We run away? <laughs> chalo, chalo, let's go, let's go, let's go before something else happens. But something else always happens in Vrindavan, right? <laughs> because in Kashi, Lord Shiva is wandering. Saying, Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Tarak Mantra, isn't it? And maybe in Chitrakut, somebody is always coming in all the Ram Katha, sitting behind. Who is he? Ram Rasayan Tumre Pasa Sada Raho Raghupati Kedasa. So he, but in Vrindavan, this Shaliya is always walking. Is Bako Taako. So wo tapak pade? He just did. something is not looking okay here. It smells very nice. Why? Because the golden color was fragrant too. Everything in the spiritual world is ecstatic. The gold hair is there we say sone pe suhaga does not happen in the material world. The gold ornaments may smell because of our perspiration. <laughs> <laughs> but the sun in spiritual planet is Suhaga. Hmm? So he's smelling, what's happening? What's this yellow pond? And Krishna is not only Rasa Shiromani, he's Kautuk Shiromani. Hmm. Kautuk, you know? Dimaag ki khujli? <laughs> Kutuhal. Kutuhal. For us, it can be like a big danger. Hmm? Hmm? Curiosity killed the cat, <laughs> human, and a devotee. <laughs> so, he was curious and he dipped, dipped himself inside. 
So some yellow came. He said, that's interesting. He dips more, dips more, dips more. Well, well, they do like this, right? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Comes out as Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> so this is the first origin of Gaur Tattva in Krishna Lila. Peli Pokha. And then he's roaming around. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. But the color fades over the time. The color fades and he remembers his eternal identity. That identity in that Krishna pastimes as Sri Krishna. So this is, as we can say, the first footprint of finding Gaur in Brindavan Leela 5,000 years ago. But it doesn't end there. 500 years ago, something. Not 500 years ago. Yeah, maybe we can say the time switches between 5,000 and 500 years ago. Actually, this is the one of the most confidential places in Vrindavan. Now, Vrindavan downtown, if we know what I mean by it, Iskon, Prem Mandir, these are the suburbs now. No, they are not the suburbs. The suburb is Chatikara now. <laughs> Chatikara, which is Shakatikara, where... When they moved to Vrindavan, Nanda Baba created this semicircle of carts to protect. Shakat means the carts. So Shakatikara became Chatikara. So that Chatikara, the road comes inside. There is Ram Babu Parathe Wale. Abhi band ho gaye. And then there is Vaishno Devi, you see. And then as you come inside, you see Krishna Greens, Radha Sharnam, and Prem Mandir. So once you are going in an auto rickshaw with not e-riksha. So some of the e-riksha walas are themselves great pravachan cars. <laughs> For free, you'll get at least half an hour of pravachan. <laughs> so this riksha wala saying, Prabhuji, this temple, is mandir ka naam, love temple rakh dena chahiye. This temple should be called love temple. I said, what happened to you? Prabhuji, only couples come there and take their pictures. I said, true na, in Hindi it is called prem mandir. <laughs> Love temple. <laughs> so, Prem Mandir we go. And then we come to Iskon. But these are suburbs. Earlier, there was a, a common saying in Vrindavan. When Iskon temple was opened, they had these shops in front of the Iskon temple. And one of the Goswamis was telling me that once his, when his relative took the shop in front of the Iskon temple, they were saying, who will be your customers? <laughs> Hobgoblins, ghosts. <laughs> Pishachas, no humans will come there. Even in 1971, there was no, uh, um, there was only one ambassador which belonged, I think, to mayor, and I think the mayor at that time was Sri Vishwambhar Goswami, great friend of Srila Prabhupada, mm -hmm. Radharaman Goswami. His son is Padmanabh Goswami. Mm -hmm. And Padmanabh Goswami has very nice relationship with um, um, many of the Iskon sannyasis, and Padmanabh. Padvanab Goswami's son, I believe, is also Chandan Goswami. Mm -hmm. Chandan Goswami preaches in Canada, US also, and Vrindavan too. <clears throat> he has compiled the whole book of um, Radharaman songs. Radharaman songs are in Braj Bhasha. It's interesting. Many of the Gaudiya temples sing songs in Bengali. Mm -hmm. Every language has their own things, right? Mm -hmm. Like he was saying yesterday how in Maharashtra Tukaram has this Goda Tuze Rupa Goda Tuze Nama Very sweet. The language thing just captures. So now Vrindavan people are saying Braj Bhasha, right? So they have these Braj songs. Jai Radha Raman Lal Jai 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 Shri Bhatt Gopal मोर मुकुट मा थे पर सोहे उरवे जंती माल दिस इज बरहा पीडम बट ट्रांसलेट इनटू ब्रज भाषा सो विश्वंभर गोस्वामी हैड ओनली चंदन गोस्वामी हैज कंपाइल्ड दिस एंड हिज ग्रैंडफादर वी कैन से विश्वंभर गोस्वामी जी इफ आई एम गेटिंग द नेम्स राइट आई होप दे आर राइट ही हैड द कार सो वृंदावन वाज वेरी very much like a rural place. But then the downtown has been established now, thanks to the famous Bhake Bihari <laughs> and the world-famous Loi Bazaar. 
people won't go anywhere but they have to do ashtayam darshan of loi bazaar <laughs> <laughs> so as we go to the from this road bhakti vedanta marg we come across first prem mandir then iskon temple then the world famous no fogla ashram mm -hmm. quite world famous too and then world famous brijwasi suites on the opposite side of rajwasi suites is ram jivai ashram where all the kathas would happen daily so braj culture is they would work do the chanting in the morning general local culture i am telling and they will do their whatever businesses and in the evening come and listen daily to a katha and ram jivai ashram was the place in fact ram jivai ashram was also the place where different kirtaniyas would come and aindra prabhu would go there and record the different tunes wow. <laughs> and then he would then endrise it if that's a word <laughs> his own classic sense and then it became world famous it is mentioned in his uh, memories of aindra prabhu there are seven videos on youtube you can watch it's very nice and then if you go further you come to a vidyapeet choraha from the vidyapeet chora you go inside that's the road which now will be broadened as a part of the banke bihari corridor then you go there take a right keep on going 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 the road will take you to loi bazar but before it takes you to loi bazar there is a small cut on the left which takes you to this pristine place where we can find the second footprint of gaur in krishna leela mm -hmm. this place this whole area is very sacred very sacred to all of us mm -hmm. it's the seva kunj area that's where shila prabhupada spent radha damodar is in seva kunj area mm -hmm. shama sundar in seva kunj area goswami is now of course there are buildings and shops mm -hmm. see you know these shops in vrindavan literally have monopoly mm -hmm. where is stationery nowhere there is only baldev stationers <laughs> watch there is only one watch maker maybe somewhere you know it's a small town one person i mean they're not like chains of sometimes in um, big cities we go right stationer whole line is of stationery mm -hmm. so you go there and it is in this seva kunj earlier where there were not buildings it was forest now forest has reduced only three pockets of forest are remaining one is nidhivan mm -hmm. where banke bihari prakatte happened and another is seva kunj and bordering seva kunj is kishor van what is kishor van kishor van is the place where yugal kishor deities appeared mm -hmm. the four main temples of vrindavan which were constructed first was madan mohan gopinath govind dev and yugal kishor in the mughal style who is the person to whom these deities of yugal kishor appeared swami hari ram vyas some people say that he was a radha vallabhi but if you go to his temple and visit his samadhi they say it is his godia he was the disciple of madhav das who was the who was the god brother of ishwar puri and ishwar puri is the guru of chaitanya mahaprabhu so they are god cousins <laughs> isn't it and it is hari ram vyas who was like the prabodhanand saraswati kahu ke bal bhajan ko for some the bal is bhajan kahu ke aachar for some it is aachar not the achar <laughs> some people like achar, achar also let's focus on paneer and achar forget about everything eat your way to god head <laughs> व्यास भरो से कुवरी के सो पाव पसार ही सेंग बट आई एम भरोसे कुवरी हु इज कुवरी किशोरी राधा रानी सो पाव पसार इनफैक्ट दैट्स अ साधना जस्ट धाम वास इट सेल्फ विदाउट क्रिटिसाइजिंग एनीबॉडी इज अ बिग साधना बिकॉज यू आर स्लीपिंग ऑन द लैप in some sampradayas especially radha vallabhi and other sampradayas brajwas is a big sadhana mm -hmm. so vyas bharo se kuvari ke so paav pasar and he this kishor one is there it is still forested land this area now is called bag bundela in vrindavan mm -hmm. and a very famous publishers 
of Vrindavan are there right across to um, from this Kishorvan, Harinam Press. Anybody who has to get anything printed, Harinam Press, including Shadi Ke cards. Mm. So, this Seva Kunj area, which is bordering Kishore 1, is the place where uh, Goswamis would meet and discuss. Now, after we come out of the Seva Kunj and we have to go to Radha Damodar, we don't go there, but take a small left. And that's where we enter this Khufia place. Yeah. We go, 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 and we see, are buildings all around? Is there an exit? Yes. It's a small door. You enter that small door and you come inside the courtyard of this beautiful temple which is on the banks of Yamuna. Mm -hmm. Any guesses what is this temple? Maybe we can take a poll. Anybody want to write? It's a geography, Vrindavan 101. Okay, this is Imli Thala. Mm -hmm. Imlitala, which was established by later by Bhakti Sarang Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Sarang Goswami Maharaj was the spiritual master of Prabhupada's wife, Radha Rani Datta, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I believe also Pishimachi to Bhavatarani mm -hmm. Devi. Before Prabhupada moved like, I mean, he took sannyas in the Keshavji Mutt and then he was editing. Gaudiya Patrika there by Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Mm -hmm. And then they come, came to know Prabhupada's prowess in editing and everything. Mm -hmm. So Bhakti Sarang Goswami Maharaj who was in Delhi invited him, you come mm -hmm. and edit Sajjana Toshini. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada would do. But Prabhupada, his dreams are huge. He was saying, let's make this Sajjana Toshini as illustrated weekly. With all the, I mean, illustrated weekly is illustrated weekly with all the pictures. And they were thinking, my Lord, this personality doesn't, is not more than five feet or something like that, <laughs> five feet four. And he has two tattered dhotis, but his ambitions are beyond the roof. <laughs> Everybody would feel that. In Vrindavan, in the Kal of Bhajan Kal of Prabhupada, when he would sit, people, he was eating prasadam with some old sadhu. Somebody went by and peeped in the room and just nonchalant, indifference. There were oh, two sadhus are sitting, he just left. And Prabhupada told to the another sadhu. This fellow thinks that these two good for nothing sadhus are sitting, but he doesn't know that one of these two sadhus will establish the movement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. This call is called in Hin English called Hutspa. Hutspa means utter audacity. <laughs> but Vyas Bharo Se Kuvari Ke Son Pav Pasar Karu Hari Naam Ka Prachar. <laughs> so Prabhupada has this belief in on Radha Rani. This Simlital is the place where we find the second footprint of Gorli. Now, beyond the Yamuna, of course, Yamuna has changed the track. Now, if we see, on the other side of the Yamuna, there is a place called Mansarovar. This Mansarovar is a place where Radharani did Man. Now, what is Man? Rutna, Rusna. And saints advise us that do Man if you know the person to which you are doing Man, wo aapko mana sakta hai. <laughs> Agar aap kisi se rus rahe ho, or you are not sure ki wo aapko mana sakta hai, mat ruso, it's a waste of time. Let me translate that in English. If, I believe perhaps everybody can understand, but if you are not sure the other person can appease you, then don't sulk. <laughs> Radhare knows that Krishna would be successful. Mm. But this man is, and it's not the ordinary rusna. It's the stage above prema. Mm. After prem we get sneha. Prems, what, what is Prem? Prem is Atyan Chikna, Mamatva. Mm -hmm. And when it becomes further Chikna, as they say, and it gets the Madhya Bhav, then it becomes Sneha. Chandravali has Tadhya Bhav, mm -hmm. which means I am yours. That is called Hrita Sne, the Sne of a ghee. Mm -hmm. But the ghee is not sweet, right? You don't serve somebody. 
Today for your sweet dish, we have 10 kilos of bura and 5 kilos of ghee. Don't eat it like this. Come on, make some mohan thal or like that. But madhu is sweet. And madhu has madhiyata, which means you are mine. That is sneha. And when sneha get this vamata or adakshinata, that mm, hum aap se baat nahi karte. <laughs> that is man. So it is not the normal man. It's a very high stage of tat sukha sukitvam. Krishna ke sukh ke for the pleasure sukh. So Radharani did that man because Krishna, it's in other kalpa, in the Ras Leela she did that man. Krishna evaporates, right, in the Ras Leela, in, in our kalpa of Bhagavatam. Mm -hmm. There Radharani was not happy, happy, so she went away. And she is sulking there. Krishna was also sad. So he came on this side and sat under this Imli tree, mm -hmm. tamarind tree. There Radharani is chanting, Jai Krishna, Jai Krishna, Krishna. Jai Krishna, Jai Shri Krishna. So her complexion becomes Shakish. Shamvarna. There was this saint in Gorakhpur. We all know about him. Hanuman Prasad Poddar. Great friend of Srila Prabhupada. First Bhagavatam publishing, the 1200 copies of 1200 or 1100, maybe 1100 copies of Srimad Bhagavatam, out of which 200 were taken by Prabhupada today. I think today is the day. Right? Or maybe yesterday is the day or today is the day. Huh? Where the uh, Prabhupada traveled. Where, huh? It's August 21st. So Prabhupada took the um, uh, 200 Bhagavatams with him. Oh no, he said Bhagavatams are going and I'm going with them. So, Hanuman Prasad Poddar helped finance it. And Prabhupada had great friendship with him. This Hanuman Prasad Poddar wrote 16 songs, which are called Shodasha Geet. Wow. And this Shodasha Geet has become so popular that if you go to Radha Raman, you stand taking darshan of Radha Raman. Snacks are Thakur, but Jalwa are big. Everybody stands erect in front of Radha Raman. On this side is a seating space behind you as you are taking darshan as that uh, song, singers are there. And on this side you will see a Vyasasan. What's this Vyasasan? On this Vyasasan, the parampara of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, folks in the parampara of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami have come from generations to do Parayan of Bhagavatam, maybe half an hour daily. And we have one saint currently in the Raghunath Bhatta Goswami lineage, Achyutlal Bhatji Maharaj. Yeah. Daily he comes at 11, 20, 11, 30. He's 80 years old, but he rides his called Dugdugi, mm. which is now that is Dugdugi. Bali, it was Luna. Mm. Now it is Activa. <laughs> so he comes and daily recites. And nobody is there. Nobody knows even who is he. He's yeah. from Raghunath Bhatta Goswami lineage because Raghunath Bhatta Goswami was given this seva. Mm. Cook. Don't criticize and recite Bhagavatam. Amazing! If somebody can just catch on to this, Beda Par. Behind this Vyasasan on marble slabs, you have these marble slabs, right? Epitaphs at home. Shodas Geet is inscribed. Not only there. Go to Jagannath Puri. When we enter that thing of Jagannath Puri, right? Marte, Pitte, Marte. And Martevia, they hit us also and the people also squish us <laughs> from perpendicular. Vertical, we may become perpendicular. <laughs> so we go inside and then we are walking this side. Then, then the Khamba comes where Mahaprabhu would take darshan. Then we turn this way and we are entering that hole of transcendence, isn't it? That final door yeah. when... Yeah. At, no sooner we enter, before we enter that door, on this side, Shodasa Gita is inscribed. And the first song is Do Chakor Do Chandrama Do Jal Do Mean Both are Chakor, both are Chandrama. Mm. Both are Jal, both are Mean. Both are Sham, both are Gaur. Mm. So there Radha is chanting Jai Krishna, Jai Krishna. And here Krishna is chanting Jai Radhe, Jai Radhe, Radhe. Jai Radhe, Jai Shri Radhe, he becomes Gaurvan. 
There Lalita breaks the trance of Radha and tells there Krishna is sulking even more than you. He's sad. Let's go. They come and see this darshan of gold. That's the second footprint. 500 years ago, before Mahaprabhu came, Nityanand Prabhu came to this place. And he established a seat. That's what Balram does, right? He creates a nice gadda for Thakurji. <laughs> He has a Gadda Seva. <laughs> he does, creates the Gadda for Vishnu also, Sheshashai. Yeah. And then he comes in the heart of Devaki also. Hmm? But then after the Gadda is done, the Gadda is transferred. Here he comes and creates this beautiful platform. And when Mahaprabhu comes, Mahaprabhu doesn't stay in the downtown at that time. Because at that time, downtown is a forest. He would stay in suburb. Because that's where you could get Bhiksha. He would stay in Akrur Ghat. This was a forest. So Mahaprabhu would come and sit here and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare In the mood of Radharani for Krishna and he would turn Shama. Hare Krishna. So this is the place where Mahaprabhu is remembering his footprints. Mm. But then slowly, quickly after seeing his becoming Kala, Sham, Samarya, he would run away. Mm. And people said that was another reason why he didn't want to stay in Vrindavan. Because as they say in Hindi, pole khul jayegi, <laughs> sab pata lag jayega, all the secrets will be out. And he is a chadma avatar. He wants to hide. He is expert in chupana. Mm. We are expert in chapana. <laughs> Mahaprabhu hide, and this is also one of the reasons why after he visited Vrindavan in the Kartik of 1515, mm. he quickly turned back. He gave the reason, ah, my mother said near Jagannath Puri. That's one reason. This is also another reason. Mm. Bhakti Siddhan Sarasri Thakur came to this place and he saw, I think, a person was cutting the tree and the tree was oh. bleeding. Mm. He would, Imlital, you would see now in the murals. This tree is the is in the parampara of that original tree because they graft the original, they graft the stem of the original tree and the tree is produced. Now, <clears throat> he really wanted to get the land. So he got some land and things like that. Earlier it was being worshipped by pujaris of Madan Mohan temple because Sanatan Goswami established the Gaur Nityananda here. In Brindavan, Nitai is like this. Generally. Mm -hmm. And in Mayapur, Gaur is like this. Mm -hmm. There are a few exceptions. In Radha Gokulanan temple, Gaur is like this. But generally, Nitai is like this. And Gorang Mahaprabhu is like, nobody tops me. <laughs> <laughs> so Gorang Mahaprabhu is like that. Nitai is like this. And this is the Gaur Nityananda deity. Mm -hmm. So Sanatan Goswami established that. So it was under the care of the descendants, disciples of Sanatana Goswami, Madan Mohan. But it was not being maintained for whatever reason. Later on, Bhakti Saran Goswami Maharaj mystically got dream and then he did everything and he was also very close to Prabhupada. This is the second footprint of Gorang Mahaprabhu in Vrindavan Leela, Krishna Leela. In fact, Gaur can not only be found in Bengal, he can be found everywhere. You see them in the Govardhan, Shankaracharya Peet in Puri. They'll have one picture of Shankaracharya and one place, picture of Mahaprabhu. Yeah. Mahaprabhu is a trickster. <laughs> yes, he came to us with his full force of teachings in the form of the writings of his sons. But to others also he came. There was a saint in Brindavan during the time of Anandamai Ma. And Bhaiji, that time, mm. Hari Baba. Mm. Hari Baba was, from traditional background, a Advaitin. But he came to Vrindavan and he became mad after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. So much so that he would do Kirtan throughout the day that his head only became like this because he would play Ghanta. Mm. Hari Bol, Hari Bol. And in his town near Ganga, they would have floods. So he said, let's all the villagers should come and build a dam. But there is only one condition. You should not start, you should not stop chanting. 
So by chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. They build the dam. No expertise. The dam is still there. Now, he is beyond the God you afford. But Mahaprabhu can capture. And we end the discussion today by a song, a Braj song, which shows that Mahaprabhu can rope in anybody, everybody. I really like this song. In KK songs, it is written that this song was popularized in an ISKCON album called Naam Smarana, 87 album. And somehow I guess that the divine personality behind it would be Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj because he would sing the bhajans very sweetly and very nicely. Can we sing this and conclude this song this session? Oh, yeah, you can play. Matli? Okay. Okay. to Hari Nam Lolagi Ab To so I think Bhajani. I'm hearing my echo. And echo is like your ego. Sin. Ha. Tin. Ab To Hari Nam Lolagi ab to Hari Nam Lolagi. Keep playing. Ab to now Hari Nam Lo means Jwala Lagai. How does Sab Jag ko Yah Makhan Jora Sab Jag ko Yah Makhan Jora Naam Dharo Vairagi Naam Dharo Vairagi He is the Makhan Chora for the entire world. But now he has gotten the madness of holy name and he has taken the name of Vairagi. Hmm, correct? What else? Kit chodi kya mohan murali. Kit chodi kya mohan murali. Kit chodi sab gopi. Kit chodi sab gopi. And what did you do? Mood mudaye. Tori kati bandhi, mood mudaye, tori kati bandhi, maathe mohan topi, maathe mohan topi. Where are your gopis? Where is your mudli? They are not there. And what you have done? You have tied the Topin and you have mood mudaya, you have shaved up. Mm. And there is this sannyasi topi, right? Mohan topi, mm. almost like the adhya, adhya charya of a monkey cap. <laughs> Mohan topi. <laughs> Mohan topi, yeah. Mat jaso mati makhan karan. Mat jaso mati makhan karan. Bandhe jake paan. Bandhe jake paan. Mata Yashoda, in order to ghar mar, ghar mar churn, she was tying his legs. But, Sham Kishor Bhayo Nav Gaura Sham Kishor Bhayo Nav Gaura Chaitanya Jako Naam Chaitanya Jako Naam Now these songs can be so philosophical. The next line, which is the last line, is 
राधा भाव द्युति सुवलित वट इज राधा भाव द भाव ऑफ द येलो द येलो कलर विच शी वॉज रविंग राइट पीतांबर को भाव दिखाए पीतांबर को भाव दिखाए कटी को पीन कसे कटी को पीन कसे पीतांबर को भाव कैन यू गेस दी ऑथर एनी गेसेस from the online participants who might have heard this song meera bhai so who all is being roped by mahaprabhu yeah. in their mercy gaur krishna ki dasi meera gaur krishna ki dasi मेरा रसना कृष्ण बस रसना कृष्ण बस नॉट द रसना विच वी वुड गेट इन इंडिया एक रसना बट रसना इज कृष्ण बस है जस्ट लाइक अब तो हरि नाम लो लागे अब तो हरि नाम लो लागी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु की जय और मुझे क्षमा कीजिए तीन मिनट ऊपर है प्रश्न का समय मेरे पास है पता नहीं आपके पास है या नहीं है हरे कृष्णा इफ समी हैव कॉमेंट्स और थॉट्स दे कैन शेयर और इफ इट इज टाइम थैंक यू मैथली फॉर वंडरफुल एंड थैंक यू मदर फॉर थैंक यू anybody would like to say something comment something i'll be anant vilas prabhu anant vilas prabhu yes oh hari krishna prabhu dandat ka hari krishna <laughs> thank you so very much prabhu for this very very relishing <laughs> taking us <laughs> the bridge and taking us through this journey through the through god lila through krishna lila and taking us to the streets of raja and we felt we were actually there actually <laughs> as we were driving us thank I'm you i'm glad you me. don't have spectacles so there were no calamities <laughs> <laughs> we really relish this <laughs> thank, thank you so much appreciation i'm thank grateful krishna and then we have प्रभु श्याम चंद्र प्रभु जय श्री राधे वी कैन बिगिन द सेकंड क्लास नाउ ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय बाय प्रभु हरे कृष्ण प्रभु दंडवत प्रणाम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सच अ नाइस नेक्टेरियन क्लास टू स्टार्ट द डे टुडे वंडरफुल टू इमर्स अस द गौरीला इन व्रज एंड टेकिंग अस थ्रू द लेन्स एंड बाय लेन्स ऑफ द व्रज द डाउनटाउन <laughs> down down I've never heard this downtown in bridge before so nice to hear that very very madhuri uh, the way you put it and the icing on the cake was the the song that you sung just now are krishna abu to you know hari naam lo hari naam dun lo we sang it together in seattle too you remember that <laughs> yes 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 i remember that yes so nice wonderful and i really look forward to your evening session today also hari krishna Thank, thank you so much prabhu thank you i i am always blissful whenever i have your darshan and i just get reminded of our initial days associating with disciples of bhakti swarup damodar maharaj we miss him so much hari krishna. krishna he got that culture of manipur so yeah. hari krishna hari krishna now prabhu ji is there pratyumna, pratyumna prabhu hari, hari krishna हरे कृष्णा दंडवत प्रणाम प्रभु जी कोटि कोटि नमस्कार आपके चरणों में बहुत आनंद वेरी नाइस प्रभु जी यू नो यू केम एन टू कस टू द ब्रजमन वृंदावन परिक्रमा यू नो रियली आई लाइक दैट पार्ट यू नो एंड आल्सो यू डिस्क्राइब अबाउट नाइस भजन अबाउट एंड सेड अबाउट राधा रमन जी सॉन्ग बुक यू नो दैट वेयर वाज वेरी नाइस प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा प्रदीप ने प्रभु अगले वर्ष प्रभु जी को आप बॉल्टीमोर बुलाइए जरूर जरूर यस आई वाज गोइंग टू आस्क प्रभु जी टू यू नो बट यू हैव इंफॉर्मेशन प्रभु जी सो या वी कैन अरेंज सम प्रोग्राम फॉर बॉल्टीमोर जय जय जय
एनी टाइम प्रभु जी नो प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन प्रभु and again i'm not uh, qualified but how is uh, mirabai's and uh, mahaprabhu's can you just give a little yeah, bit okay. more detail please prabhu please thank, thank you. you so much and you. also prabhu sorry but nahi nahi we didn't have time so i just gatak gaya mujhe well she came she was she came to vrindavan they say maybe around 1535 mahaprabhu had left vrindavan 1515 isn't it See yesterday we were singing this song Ali ri mohe lage vrindavan ni ko This is a historical song it gives historical peace Ghar ghar tulsi Thakur seva darshan Govind Dev ji ko And in other song she sings I took the darshan of Banke Bihari Madan Mohan Govind Dev So that means she must have come after the Govind Dev got established So 1538 they say Mahaprabhu was not there but his disciple was there they say jeeva goswami and there is a little past time between jeeva goswami meera bai also which some say it's kim vadanti some say it is just planted but whatever it is it's fine in the sense that meera bai told jeeva goswami that everybody in vrindavan is prakriti there is on one purush when she came in association with the goswami she became maddened after mahaprabhu's mood and this is the song as a udgar or as we say dakar <laughs> is the burp of that um her meditation isn't that wonderful so i think in vrindavan during those time we had a storm of songs mm. a hurricane mm. of songs everybody was writing song and they were also writing about each other mm. like hari ram vyas is uh, writing about rupa goswami sanatan goswami oh they have left just like we have right जे अनिलो प्रेम धाना सो ही हैज अज ब्रज इक्वलेंट ऑफ जे अनिलो प्रेम धाना एंड ही सेंग ओ रूप एंड सनातन वेर हैव यू गॉन सो दे वर ऑल हैविंग वेरी कॉर्डियल रिलेशन विद ईच अदर सो लाइक दैट मीरा बाई आफ्टर दैट मीरा बाई स्टेट फॉर थ्री इयर्स इन वृंदावन एंड लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स शी वॉज इन द्वारका इनफैक्ट हर स्पिरिचुअल आइडेंटिटी इज माधवी शी वॉज अ द्वारका निवासी एंड दैट्स अन अदर स्टोरी फॉर सम अदर टाइम डज दैट हेल्प यू चुड आई यू प्रभु maybe next time you come and if i am free and you are free we'll go to the place where she stayed in vrindavan meera bai yeah. i don't know if you have been there <laughs> and from next time please yeah. promise that you have to come to cincinnati also prabhu please <laughs> <laughs> and thank you thank you adi gadar prabhu and family for organizing this class such a wonderful for all of us thank you hari krishna adi gadar prabhu is like chaitanya mahaprabhu he can glorify people with like maybe 500 mouths So, yeah <laughs> as they say appreciate the heck out of everyone yes <laughs> so ma uh, advait ji oh yeah i'm i asked advait prabhu maybe advait prabhu i'll reveal it okay i asked advait ji in north carolina prabhu what do you like in krishna consciousness and with this sweet smile he was saying prabhu the sweetness in krishna consciousness <laughs> when i figured out whose disciple he is <laughs> both in terms of shiksha and diksha <laughs> yeah. are krishna advait prabhu yes please enlighten us hari krishna just i wanted to uh, there's nothing to enlighten you i wanted to express my gratitude both to you and adi garar pro and i'm so grateful that krishna gave the opportunity again i could hear you virtually this is this felt like almost a personal association again so thank you so much dear adi garar pro thank you so much hari vamsh pro thank you, thank you. Uh, What a beautiful katha, and I'm 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 so grateful for again going into Brajtham, doing Mananama Brajtham, uh-huh. and uh, being reminded. Thank you so much, bro. Just want to take this my gratefulness. Thank, Thank you, Advait, bro. Give my regards to your parents and Shama Sevika. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we just had a guest, so they're attending. Yes, to... yes, yes, yes. We will have part two on Friday, perso. Yes, that will be part two. That will yeah, be tomorrow, same the... time. finding him in kaliyuga in vrinda <laughs> kaliyuga vrindavan <laughs> bhagwati vasudha mata ji yes hare krishna prabhu ji please accept my humble obeisance thank you 
thank you so much prabhu ji for the wonderful kata thank you adigadar prabhu for uh, giving us all this association uh, prabhu ji it was very nice to know that in gau uh, krishna leela that gauranga mahaprabhu is coming in this way and today uh, we got to know that two places like uh, pilipokar and uh, uh, emily tari so like that there are more places and more leelas um where uh, yeah krishna leela could, gauranga mahaprabhu could be could be could be we know only you know surface there is one more which i have reserved for the next next session and then okay. uh, how we can find him even now in vrindavan you know so that those who are we will not go outside of vrindavan can find mayapur there too <laughs> 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you prabhu ji thank you so much very grateful hari krishna thank you i am grateful thank call you. it a day hari krishna thank you dearly shila prabhu pa hari ki jai nitai gaur hari bol